Hey everyone, Matthew Robinson back again. I'm here to review the latest film from DM Pictures uh, by David Moore, director, writer, and actor. Uh, it's his next installment in the Eric Snipes Chronicles, and it is called Face of Death. Uh, it is the sequel, or the next installment after Death on Swift Wings, and thus using Apply for Death. Whew, so many deaths in the title, I got confused there for a second. But no, this is a great uh, independent film, and I, uh, I really enjoyed watching this. Uh, David Moore returns to his classic style, but he also has a great, probably the most cohesively strong cast he's had. Um, before, you know, like there was like one actor who's really good and everyone else was kind of like not as good. This, uh, this cast brings the bar up to a new level. They're very strong. I can definitely see why there's going to be more movies with this uh, group of characters. Uh, they did a really good job acting in it. Um, all the users in a, uh, a David Morse film or Eric Stein's film, you got the ash, you got the suspense, you got the cool music, you got the great fight scenes, uh, plenty of smoking and cussing, but it's good. And I, I do commend uh, David Moore for tapping such a, a very risky subject and a very um, hard subject, uh, such as like child por pornography and underage uh, people trafficking and rape. And it's uh, very serious. And he really makes you hate the bad guys, and he does a good job of building tension to that final scene, uh, where the final fight scenes. The fight scenes are really well choreographed in this movie. Uh, it's always been a very big strong point of David Moore's pictures, but they've gotten even better in this film. You can see that the, the films are improving, and I'm just sure, like by the next uh, Eric Stein's film, it's really going to be blowing people out of the water. Um, camera angles have gotten a lot better. I was really impressed with some of the cinematography and the shots, especially, like I said, during the fight scenes. The acting's good. The, the more emotional scenes, Life or Death is sort of tired to get them. I know in my review of Life or Death, I criticized it for being a little too obvious with some of its um, emotional scenes. This time, it's, it's a lot more subtle when they're being serious and they're revealing stuff about characters. Um, there's one scene in particular where this one girl who has been caught, uh, they just they rescue her from being sold into uh, slave, sex slave trafficking. And uh, she has a scene where she explains about her life and it's actually a very emotional scene it's a very well acted and very well shot and uh, really impressed with this um, this is something I'm going to criticize the movie on even though I struggle with it on a daily basis and I think it's just one of the big Achilles heels of independent filmmaking and that's lighting um, some of the scenes were a little too dark you couldn't really see what's going on and couldn't appreciate it but other than that it was pretty interesting to watch and uh, I was thoroughly impressed throughout the uh, the movie and uh, acting was great uh, I don't know who the best actor in the movie was the villain was a really good possibly the best active villain in uh, an, an Eric Stites film to date he just uh, even though he wasn't the most menacing I think he, he the guy playing him really had it down um, my nose is itching that's not for sarcasm. I know sometimes people go like this when they're being sarcastic. My nose just itches while I'm doing this video. But <laughs> anyway, no, this was really, really well done. I, I, I There were are some deficiencies. Some of the acting, some scenes didn't go well. Um, but for the most part, it was very believable. I'm very ruthless and uh, well thought out, well planned. I'm always impressed by, I think I've said this like in every review I've done, I'm always impressed by David Moore's ability to get hotels to basically be the uh, uh, the kind of a sad setting and this is actually the first movie where we're not out in the wilderness with the final fight scene we're in this kind of like apartment complex which really gives us this kind of like James Bond secret agent feel which I feel like the Eric Snipes movies are sort of um, going towards involving towards like this very gritty version of like a James Bond film and uh, I like that um, any other criticisms, the only ones I can give, I must warn you, if you have not seen Face of Death, and there will be a link below to where you can go see it, um, if you haven't seen Face of Death yet, you shouldn't listen to anything else more in this. I'll give my rating right now. I'm going to give this, and I'm grading this on an independent film level. I'm giving this an 80 out of 100, and, um, but if I, uh, spoil it, I, I felt the very final fight scene... Um, there wasn't enough tension between the main bad guy and Eric Snipes. I get that he wasn't as menacing, but I thought it would have been, you know, maybe he could have fired a gun at Eric Snipes, pulled out a gun or a knife or something. I just feel like it was a little anachromatic, that final death scene. Especially after everyone else's, like, deaths were so brutal, I had to get stabbed, you know, 
whatever, neck snapped. I felt that was a little bit on the weak side. But other than that, really, I don't have many complaints about this film. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I was watching it, and like, I was like, I'm the last part, and I had to go um, out with some friends. And I was like, okay, guys, I'll be ready in a second. I just need to finish the end of this movie. Like, it was really had me engaged. And, and that's what's most important at the end of the day. Does it entertain? Does it keep you engaged? Are you invested in the characters? And I, I thoroughly was. So great job to David Moore. I cannot wait for the next picture to come out. Good job to all the actors, especially Jordan Wilkin, who came on to my radio show. That was great. Did a great job. It's currently the second most downloaded episode in the, the Final Cuts history. So um, very impressed with that. Great job, David Moore. You deserve all the accolades you get. And uh, I think that's it. All right. Um, if you want to see any of my other reviews, and this link to the Inception review will be down there as long. Also, you can see the full-length version of The Adventures of Matthew Robinson on Vimo now, so you can check that out, too. Check it all out. Come on, I'm, I'm whoring myself out to you. Please, give me some love. Alright, rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, please remember, it's all in the hair.